Attaching modules to the foundation can happen in many ways and it's always specified by one of two people. So almost every factory, in fact every factory, will only do a foundation diagram that is a recommended foundation diagram. They will give you point loads, they will give you pounds per linear foot, but it's incumbent upon the homeowner or the builder to go to an engineer and have the foundation engineer to accommodate those loads that the home's going to produce. Upon doing that, the, the, the engineer that does it will also take into consideration other, other aspects, seismic activity, high wind activity. They will design the foundation per code for that locality. So that means you might have straps installed on the foundation. You might have an additional nailing pattern that you have to use. You might have um, bolt type structures or, fr or, or bracket structures embedded into the walls to it, to, 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 that attach to the foundation. Every foundation, if it's a concrete foundation, will have what's called a sill plate. The sill plate is typically done with pressure treated lumbers because you can't have green lumber touch concrete. So now that's installed at the, or at the location on the foundation. And so attachment might be nothing more than 16 penny nails installed every six inches on, or every six inches around the perimeter of the foundation. But you have to go with whatever the design is. The, the factory will take that engineered foundation design and taken into consideration, especially in seismic and high wind areas, because it may take both the foundation and the structure of the home to accommodate those attachments.